Hello, I am Ishan Prakash Singh and in this video, I will demonstrate how one can disassemble an ironing press. This video is part of a group project where I will disassemble the iron while my friend Ashim Dahal prepares a detailed report on the internal components of this device. To reach the internal components, we must first remove the outer plastic casing that encloses the electrical components. At the beginning of this process, only one screw is visible on the exterior of the iron. So we turn it around and unscrew the back of the device. Once the back has been removed, more screws are exposed and a portion of the wiring also becomes visible. The upper part of the iron has to be pulled open so that we can reach the other screws necessary to remove the plastic casing. Once the upper part has been removed, we can access the inner screw and remove it. The other screws can be easily removed in a similar manner. Once the screws have been removed, we can pull down the main wire and also the indicator light fixed there. After this, we can reach under the temperature selector using a thin object and gently pry it open. This reveals two more screws that have to be removed to finally detach the outer case. As we do this, more of the wiring becomes visible and now only one part has to be removed to access all the internal components of the ironing press. Here we can see three new screws that would have to be removed one by one. The working of an electric iron is very simple. It takes current from mains and heats up a coil inside it. The heat is then transferred to the base plate which is pressed against clothes to remove creases. The thermostat is generally used as a bimetallic strip. As the name implies, a bimetallic strip consists of two different types of metals with different coefficients of expansion that are bonded together. This means that in the presence of heat, they expand differently. This bimetallic strip is connected to a contact spring by small pins. Once we do this, all of the electrical components become clearly visible. My iron had an accumulation of dust here, but that can be easily removed with the help of a soft brush. All of the various wire connections are visible here. We can also see the power rating and other details, all of which would be included inside my friend Ashim's report on this device. We can also see a thermostat, which has a bimetallic strip and is responsible for temperature regulation inside the iron. Finally, we can see the wire heading inside the main resistor, the same resistor that heats up to create the ironing effect. All the mentioned connections can be seen in the circuitry here. Thank you for your attention. I hope this small demonstration was helpful in providing an insight into this particular device.